Hello students, so I hope you might have had a very nice time uh, working out with NEET 2017 paper. So here are the video solutions for code R. So let's start with question number 47. So phenyl methyl ether on heating with HI, right? So the question can be little bit complicated because it is written at high temperature. So you might just uh, uh, get into this sort of distraction that what exactly happens when it is a high temperature reaction, you normally have an ether which on heating with HI. So what exactly happens? Two moles of HI are needed. So the bond breaks, I comes here, I comes here and 2H comes here as a result of which you get RI. So you might get confused to giving iodobenzene is the answer, right? But this is actually not true. So let's see the solution in terms of the mechanism first. So in the mechanism, what exactly happens? So as you know, a typical mechanism has two components. The first component is a substrate, which is basically the ether anisole and the reagent which is going to be H plus, right? So reagent is H plus. So now let's try to figure out what exactly happens. So this is nothing but anisole which is methyl phenyl ether and then this on protonation, step number one is protonation. So what exactly happens? See oxygen has a lone pair, right? So I'm just going to show the direction of uh, electron shift from the donor to the acceptor. So finally you get a protonated anisole. So this is basically, I'm going to draw a protonated anisole. So a lone pair is over here, right? And there is a hydrogen over here and this gets a positive charge, right? Now this I minus can attack in two different ways, right? Let's say if this attacks to the, uh, to this carbon, what would it happen? So in this case, the intermediate would, which would be generated would be phenyl carbocation, right? And this phenyl carbocation is unstable. So if this is unstable, it cannot be formed. So what exactly happens? So this root is not proper. So I minus would attack CH3. So this is going to be an SN2 reaction as a result of which bonded electrons would be shifted towards oxygen. And that's how you could get phenol. Right? right? So you would be having phenol. So I'm going to write OH plus methyl iodide. So as you could see, the correct option for this particular uh, question is option number D. So the answer to this particular question is option D. For more such videos, kindly like, comment or subscribe to get access to more videos.